Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana. If this is your first time here, and if it is your first time, I like to talk about beauty, health, hair, and fashion on my channel. So if you're into any of that, you might want to subscribe, check out my other videos. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some Versace shoes. I have them right here in front of me. So I'm very excited to show you guys these shoes and the best shoes y'all the best shoes I when you don't have to pay for them. these were actually a gift for valentine's day from my boyfriend he did such a good job because i have been eyeing these shoes for a very long time and i'm just so happy that i finally have them now and of course i wanted to unbox them and share them with you guys before i actually wore them out so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video so if you are into any of that make sure you guys stay tuned Alright y'all, let's get into these shoes. When I was unboxing them out of the package for the first time, I was like, what Versace shoes does he know to get like that I like? And I, I mean, I know what Versace shoes I had in mind, but I was just like, I don't remember ever telling him, but he pays attention to details. So a shout out to him, good job. These are absolutely 100% on my list to get. And I wanna say I had them sitting in my cart and I never checked out. Um, so I'm just very over the moon, like ecstatic that he bought these for me. So let me go ahead and unbox them for you guys. Of course, you just have like your care guide right here. And then we have a dust bag. It looks like these just come with one dust bag. So let me show you guys what it looks like really quick. It just says Versace right here on the front. Um, the back is blank feels like linen it's definitely not as thick as i just did a bottega unboxing and it's not as thick as that so these are the shoes right here and then the details i'll go over the details all the details in just a minute but let me go ahead and take these out of the box that's a bad heel y'all it's a bad heel so this is the shoe i'm going to take the stuffing out so you guys can get a better picture better idea of the shoe wow wow you guys wow let me get out the way look at this so these are the three strap safety pin leather heels and I'll get closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about so this is the classic Versace safety pin very understated shoe if you are familiar with the versace safety pin or the versace logo this is probably the only place on the shoe that you will see it unless you're able to get a view of the underside of the heel they have a small medusa logo right here and then a small one right here and then of course the name versace on the insole so as you can see it's got the three straps right here one that goes around the toe and then one that goes around the center of the foot and then of course one that sits slightly above the ankle so these sit higher above the ankle versus some that sit like just around it or um, below it these sit above it which I think elongates the leg I'm bringing the legs out when I wear this shoe so I'm very excited about that this is gonna be like a summer shoe for me definitely a fan of the three straps um, I love shoes that have straps around the ankle I think they're so classy I also love the height of this heel but yeah all in all just a very beautiful shoe and of course this is 100% leather I don't know if this shoe comes with a gold safety pin but if it does, that would be cute too. But I think the black one is just beautiful. It just is a seamless shoe. It's so gorgeous. I think this is very, very beautiful. And this is another one of those, if you know, you know kind of shoes, which is what I like. Um, these are not loud at all, but if you're familiar with Versace and how they construct their shoes, you would absolutely know this is a Versace heel. Very beautiful. Here's the bottom. Um, I have not worn them yet and then like I said the Medusa logo and then it's got the size right here size 39 and then made in Italy and this is the only gold that you will find on the entire shoe I wear a size eight and a half in US women's shoes but I always get a size 39 whenever 
I'm getting um, Italian or designer made shoes. So I always size up half a size and it works out perfectly for me. So these are very, very nice. Um, I've walked around in them like in the house on, on carpet and they were comfortable. I can't see these giving me a hard time. I wear heels pretty often, so I do think I can get a few hours out of these. I'm not really worried about that at all. Also, one other detail that I like about the shoe is that this center strap right here has an adjustable part right here. So this strap will be somewhat forgiving for those who have um, a thicker foot or just like wide feet. So that enables this to expand just a little bit to give you that extra added space, help make the shoe a bit more comfortable for you. You don't really get that with this toe strap right here. That pretty much comes as is. And of course, you know, the safety pin um, strap is adjustable. So you can adjust the sizing according to your liking right here. But yeah, it does come with a few holes that you can adjust the straps. You would just slide it in just like that. And then of course slide it in the shoe just like that. It's a cute design and it's a hassle-free um, buckle. So love that about the shoe. Now let's go over all of the details. So like I said, I wear it eight and a half. These are size 39. The shoe runs for $1,125. And I know that I have seen them on Saks and I mentioned that I had them sitting in my cart. I had them sitting in my cart when they were on sale. And I just pray that my boyfriend got them on sale because I saw them as low as $450 and I have a screenshot to prove it so I always get my shoes on sale um, I didn't get these like I said these are were a gift um, but if I were to get them they would be on sale I'm not sure where he got them I didn't ask um, but hopefully he caught a good sale this was like I said a Valentine's Day gift and I know this is like a Versace shoe unboxing but he also did get me some shades so he did get me some Tom Ford shades this is the information I think they're very beautiful I want to say I did see these and I sent these to him like oh my gosh these are very nice um but yeah, so just taking them out of the box right now. This is the case that they come in. It's like a velvety like suede. It just says Tom Ford in the middle. And then these are the shades. They have, you know, the T logo right here. And then they say Tom Ford along the upper corner of the frame so very very nice very sleek also like that they're brown i could use more brown shades because i feel like i'm always wearing black these y'all these just say leave me alone i'm busy if these don't give bougie like these are very very nice like i love the size of the frame the shape the kind of like big circular shape and how they come to a cat eye i love the shade of brown gorgeous like i cannot wait for a bright and sunny day just to pull these out i'm about to look cute this summer y'all so that's these shades very very cute love them and because these were a gift i also don't know where these came from but um very nice very happy that i have them so shout out to him y'all he did he did good he did his thing this valentine's day y'all i might have to keep him. might have to keep him but um yeah so back to the shoe let's get back to the shoe so i'm gonna take the stuffing out of this so you guys can just see the shoes side by side this is what they look like another square toe shoe i really do like square toe shoes so this is what they look like let me get out of the way and then of course if i can try them on for you guys i will try them on so you guys can see what they look like on the foot that is pretty much it for this video this unboxing i'm very excited i could share that with you guys so let me know what you guys think in the comments other than that make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and if not hopefully we cross paths again in the future i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys